The first section of liner to be run is referred to as the shoe track. The components are typically thread locked together to ensure that they may be drilled out later without breaking connections and unscrewing from the liner. The bottom of the liner is the float shoe, which performs two important functions. The shape of the shoe helps to guide the liner through the casing and open hole. Single or double check valves prevent backflow of fluids into the inside of the liner. A ported baffle ensures that balls or plugs inside of the liner cannot foul the float valves. The landing collar also performs two functions. First, a ball can be landed on the shearable seat to allow differential pressure to be applied to hydraulically actuated tools above. Increasing the pressure will shear out the seat and restores the circulation path. Additionally, the collar ensures a specific stopping point for the liner wiper plug by providing a sealing and anchoring point when cementing is complete. All shoe track components are normally manufactured to allow sure and rapid drill out later. As the shoe track is lowered into the well, the floats are checked to verify that mud is not backflowing inside. Additionally, the shoe track will be circulated through to verify that there are no obstructions. The required joints of liner casing are made up above the shoe track. Normally, enough liner is run to completely cover the entire open hole plus 100 to 300 feet above the previous shoe track. Since the float valves do not allow the inside of the liner to fill up as it is run, the liner should be filled from the surface to prevent the mud from collapsing the liner casing. When the required number of casing joints have been run, the liner hanger assembly is picked up. For this well, the assembly is comprised of the liner hanger, the drillable pack-off bushing, and the liner top packer. These are the components that will remain in the well bore and are sold to the customer. Inside of the saleable tools, we also have our running tools, rented to the customer as a part of the liner installation service. The liner setting tool is used to connect the liner to the drill pipe. It carries the liner into the well and provides a reliable releasing mechanism when the drill pipe must be disconnected. The slick stinger is a polished tube that seals inside of the drillable pack-off bushing to create a pressure seal at the liner top during the installation process. The liner wiper plug is attached to the end of the running tool assembly or may be held in a special bushing in the liner casing below the hanger. The plug will be used to separate the cement from the mud later. It is very important that the compatibility of the equipment is verified to be certain that the components work properly with each other and in the customer's well. This is checked initially in the shop when the equipment is loaded out and then confirmed at the well site prior to running into the hole. Lengths, IDs, ODs, shear pressures and other important details are recorded in the tool specialist's tally book as a final check. Information entered in the tally book becomes a permanent part of the well record. The hanger assembly is made up to the liner and circulated through to ensure that there are no obstructions. At this time, the rig crew will rig down the casing handling equipment to run the liner into the well on drill pipe. 